One, two, three. Five. This beautiful building is, is much, much more than just a building. It, it really does have a soul and it reflects the history of this campus. On November 4th, 2011, like Peabody Hall was rededicated as part of the U of A homecoming activities after an extensive restoration project. Those who came back home included many former students of the University High School or Peabody Elementary School, which were part of the so-called University Training School or Laboratory School. We were a unique group of children who had the opportunity to grow and prosper in an environment of higher learning being taught by those whose passion was teaching and nurturing young people. Peabody Hall was the first building on campus to be constructed with private funds. It was built in 1913 at a cost of $40,000. The restoration cost $8.8 .8 million. In the early 1900s, lab schools were established in many universities across the country to give teachers in training practice in the classroom and to serve as a research venue for educational theory and practice. The most famous was at the University of Chicago under the leadership of John Dewey. But by the 1960s, educational theory had changed and most laboratory schools nationwide were discontinued, usually because of budgetary and other considerations. The last class at the University High School was the class of 62, although elementary school classes continued for a few years longer. Only a kindergarten and preschool remained until the early 1980s. By all accounts, it was a very special place with some distinguished graduates. Perhaps its most famous graduate was a University of Arkansas President and United States Senator J. William Fulbright who attended kindergarten through high school in this building. He used to tell people that it took him 17 years to get out of the University of Arkansas. <laughs> Former students at the rededication ceremony remembered their experiences fondly. We had a very small group of people and so we're, we were all friends and all did things together and were a part of each other's lives. And you got to know everybody really well and, and it was just like a family setting for all of us, you know, to get to smaller school. I think there was only 75 people in the whole school and I think 25 in the last graduating class. There was a lot of individual attention. We would have uh, sometimes two and three student teachers in our class. Uh, we did not get a regular grade card. We got a written grade card, evaluation, no letter grades. I did not get a letter grade until I started at the uh, university. And we had a, a good base of our education, you know. And we were involved with the campus life and uh, I can remember going to a museum on the fifth floor of Old Main and uh, looking at the dinosaur and the uh, Indian relics in the museum. We used to go to the student union and eat or bring our lunch, you know, if we wanted to. We used to go over there and get a Coke, and then come back here and eat our lunch. Of course, I felt like I was a university student here, not just high school, because I went to all the ball games. Roamed all over this campus as a junior high and high school kid. In fact, Carnell Hall right down here, there used to be a fire escape on the outside of the building that went up to the third floor. And after school, three other guys and I would climb up the top of that fire escape until the lady who was running Carnell Hall came out and ran us off and then told my dad, <laughs> who was the principal. And then that stopped the end of that. Kind of like that curriculum map. I want you to map out when you're going to do what, Although the restored Peabody Hall will not become another lab school, there is a movement nationwide back to using such schools for research into teaching methods. I think lab schools gave us an opportunity on a small scale to try things out, and then once they were proven to be effective, well then they could be applied in larger settings. But without the lab schools, well the larger settings tried to do a lot of things at once, and we found out that a lot of things didn't work very well. There's a lot more help on Khan Academy with the developmental math skills and the post-restoration Peabody Hall has been transformed into classrooms for teacher preparation program classes and offices. Student teachers now practice in cooperating local public schools. But we are in the process of, of uh, definitely thinking about developing a new lab school that would be associated with our college because I think lab schools would be a very, very strong focus for the community. We're not sure if we would target a certain population such as kids who don't speak English as their primary language 
our kids who have various disabilities like autism, but we're thinking about developing a lab school and it, it's my goal that within the next three years, uh, we definitely do all the planning and we open a lab school uh, within the next three years probably. The old building has had a facelift, but some of the old features still remain. One can imagine waiting with trepidation when summoned by the principal outside the glass windows of what was once the principal's office, now administrative offices for the teacher education program. On the other hand, students would probably have really enjoyed the coffee shop near the entrance. In any case, the new 21st century lab school at the U of A is in the works. One can only hope that it will be as special as the old Peabody Hall of the past. For UATV, this is Judy Luna.